Hi, well, you've got a project to do online this week and I wanna give you a bit of help regarding what I'm expecting of you so that you can do it well and get all the points, okay? Now, um, you're gonna be creating a scenario. It, it's something that you've experienced in the last week or two that you believe will work for the discussion board post. If you really are stuck and don't have any ideas regarding what you want to do, take a look on page 105, okay, inside your textbook. Uh, and number two on everyday skills has, talks about um, some scenarios like A, the person you've been dating for a while is late to meet you. Okay, so it gives you some examples of how your perception could have had an impact on your situation. It shows you what a scenario would be like. I'm looking forward enough details so that your classmates will understand the scenario because what you're doing in the second half is going to talk about two aspects making sure that those aspects are very clear because they're inside this book. Of course, the first one is making sure that you understand the influences and you will find the influences on perception beginning on page 89. Okay, there are six. I've mentioned them in the instructional materials. Um, it could be your age. It could be the culture that you two share or don't share. It might be the cognitive abilities that were there. It could even be yourself this um, um, implicit personality theory that you need to be aware of that you'll find on page 95. You're gonna select one cause, one influence on your perception and you're going to explain it. Now, of course, you've gotta to remember to put that parenthetical citation after um, anything that you reference inside the text. So whichever one you choose, make sure you get that page number, would, and then the page number inside that parenthetical citation. Then you're gonna move on and you're gonna talk about the guidelines for improving and you'll find that on page 97. Improving, um, there are a number of different suggestions for improving that are mentioned in the pages that follow. It could be maybe serving against, you know, guide, um, guarding against that self-serving bias, which we all can have. Um, or it could be uh, distinguishing facts from inferences and recognizing that you tend to take everything as facts. Get to know these, determine which one applies to your scenario and explain that to your classmate. Then of course put that parenthetical citation after that page number so that you have cited your source uh, inside of the textbook. Make sure you do the full citation at the end of your post. And then you're going to do the replies. This week because of um, because of our circumstances within the class and that it's Labor Day week, you are going to um, not worry about um, the usual structure that I put in for your discussion board and the posts are going to be done on Wednesday and the replies are going to be done on Friday. Please make sure that you um, proofread before you post and reply. You want to get full points and you want to make sure you have written well and communicated well. We're working on interpersonal communication and that includes online.